So in this video, I'm going to be going over the solution to Chef and Dynamo from Code Chef January Long Challenge. So basically in the problem, we are given A, B, and D. And we have to choose S, C, and E, such that A plus B plus C plus D plus E is equal to S. And in order to simplify your problem, let's ignore A and D and E first and just focus on B and C. So if S is less than 10 to the power of N and if B is 10 to the power of N minus one, and since we know that C has to be positive. This means that B plus C will be greater than S, which is bad. So this, uh, we don't want S to be smaller than 10 to the power of N. On the other hand, if S is greater than 10 to the power of N, and if B is chosen to be one, then since C is smaller than 10 to the power of N, we know that B plus C will be smaller than S. So this is also bad. So the only case left is if S is equal to 10 to the power of N. And this will actually work since we know that B is within this range as given in the constraints. So we also know that. So we can also derive this inequality here. And the, the final value of C satisfies the constraints as it's greater than zero, it's smaller than 10 to the power of n. And also B plus C is 10 to, to the n, which is S. So this, so by choosing, so in conclusion, we should choose S to be 10 to the power of n and C to be 10 to the power of n minus b. So what if what if now we reintroduce d and e? But it's still pretty simple. We can use the same strategy that we did for b and d. So we'll set s to 2 times 10 to the n. And we'll set C to 10 to the n minus B. And we'll set E to 10 to the power of n minus D. And then B plus C plus D plus E is equal to 10 to the power of n plus 10 to the power of n, which is equal to S. So this works. What if we reintroduce A? Simply set S to two to the power two times ten to the power of n plus a, and that basically solves the problem. So now you might think that this strategy is really hard to find, but actually the game involved in this is very similar to standard NIM games. If you have done a lot of game theory problems before. It doesn't take a lot of effort to recognize that this problem can be solved in the same way. So I have included two links in the description of this video. The first one is from Math Stack Exchange, and the second one is from Wikipedia. And these uh, links explain the one-pound game 
uh, pretty well for those of you who have not learned it before.